Good evening, everybody. Good morning, I guess. It's um, really, really early. Um, but I thought I'd come on and let you know that <clears throat> I'm going to kind of take you through this first day of kind of our new, I don't want to say new life, but new routine, um, things going back to pre-cancer life a little bit. Um, I'm going back to work for the first time in many, many months, thanks to all my amazing co-workers. Kids are going back to school after, after winter break. That's always an adjustment. Um, but I am nervous. I'm nervous for the day. I'm nervous for the feelings. I'm nervous for another first without Jen. I'm nervous for um, starting my grief group tomorrow evening. I'm nervous for my kids. I'm just nervous. We have to get up earlier in the morning tomorrow <clears throat> because now without another parent here in the morning, I have to go drop the kids off earlier and then get to work on time. Um, so it's just gonna be a big learning experience for all of us, but we're gonna get through it. Um, I thought I'd show you a couple things, um, how I'm trying to save time uh, before tomorrow, because I'm really nervous. I'm trying to prep a lot of things. So first I got both the kids' lunches um, prepped and ready to go. They both just need a sandwich, which I'm gonna make in the morning but that saves me about 15-20 eh, minutes. <clears throat> I got their water bottles here, Ellis's and Winnie's, and um, I've got my coffee pot set. Yes, that is the time. Awful, I need to go to bed. Um, I have the coffee pot set for auto, <clears throat> so at 6 a.m., which is when I'm getting up, this is gonna brew me some coffee. Um, Got my coffee cup here that I'm just going to pour right in. Um, I've got breakfast set up for the kids. They both requested Cheerios. Um, so that's going to save me some time. And um, I used to make their lunches in the morning, but now that we have to get out the door a lot earlier, I'm going to do it all the night before. Now I'm in Winnie's room. I still haven't planned what I'm wearing. I need to do that. I'm avoiding it. But um, I already have the kids' outfits set up. I can't show you Ellis's because he is, him and Winnie are sleeping in the bunk bed in his room. So I'm in Winnie's room. And, um, excuse the stuffies. She's going with a, a nice, cute little sweater that she got for Christmas. Some black jeans, which she feels real cool, I could tell. She doesn't wear jeans that much, but she got new ones for Christmas. So she's wearing black jeans, a sweater, her favorite little Vans, a little long sleeve shirt, um, and I hope this will keep her warm. It's been really cold for us. You know, I say really cold, and for most people it's not. But for us, a high of like 52 degrees, that's really cold for us. So the kids have been freezing, I've been freezing, so I had to make sure to dress them warm. Ellis is dressed warm as well, and then I'm dressing warm from what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. <clears throat> so rather than looking for outfits in the morning and running around and then making lunches in the morning, we're saving all that time um, by doing it now. That light's bright. Um, I should probably shave. Um, that'll save some time. Um, so I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> I tried to be as routine as possible tonight. I originally had Disneyland scheduled for today. <laughs> And I canceled it because um, I felt like we needed a very relaxing, chill day to get us all prepped for the week. And it seemed to really pay off. The kids were so happy. Um, so we did some cleaning and some prepping of the house. The house is in great shape, which I love going into the week. Um, and um, tomorrow, what am I getting at? I'm just, oh, sorry. This evening, we did dinner. I made them some pasta with vegan cheese on top, which they love. And I made a little side salad for each of them, which they both ate. I'm super proud of them. Um, and then we did showers. They both showered. Um, they each, you know, Ellis went first, then Winnie. We washed hair. 
I clipped their nails, we took our vitamins, we all brushed our teeth, um, I let them each pick out three books, so we read a total of like six books before bed, and I got them down probably right before eight o'clock, which is awesome for us. Sometimes it goes a little bit later, and it's been a lot later this, you know, during break, because there's no rules during break, but I'm so proud of them. They went down so easy. They're both a little nervous for tomorrow, as am I, but um, hopefully next time you see me, I'll be well rested and in the morning. So good night, guys. See you in the morning for our first day back on a new adventure, uh, a new routine, kind of a new, a whole new system. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We didn't film anything in the house because we were getting ready quickly. But I got my boy in the back. We just dropped off Winnie. And now we're going to go take Ellis and then I'm off to work. How would you say this morning went, bud? Uh, good. Good? A little early? Yeah. A little tired. We're all a little tired. But we got up. We got out the house. We had breakfast. Ellis had like two bites. <laughs> One. One. And uh, just dropped off Winnie. She was a little sad. But um, it's because her teacher isn't here today. Um, and that usually kind of gets her a little bit sad, but they already told me they're going to take really good care of her. And now Ellis is off to school, so let's get you to school. <sighs> Deep breath, about to go in. Obviously I'm not going to film anything um, on the school premises, so I will see you guys afterwards and let you know how it went. But I'm shaking, and I've been teaching for nine years. Uh, so it's not new, I'm just nervous. See you guys after work. The day is done. Both kids are picked up. There's Ellie. There's Winnie. And I'm so happy. Both kids were super happy when I picked them up. Um, they both were playing and having a good time. And it made me really happy. So I'm very proud of them. Now I'm gonna uh, go drop them off at their auntie's house. To, to do... <laughs> to do dinner because daddy has to go to a grief support group. A support group for adults who have lost somebody in their life. So I'm gonna go talk to other people about how it's hard that we lost mommy. And then they tell me about how it's hard to whoever they lost. And then we talk about it. So, um, very emotional because I'm so proud of the kids and it was a really long day away from them. And I'll get into more detail about my work, um, but just everybody was so kind today. So much kindness. I got so many messages wishing me luck uh, for today, and I'm so thankful, grateful for my friends and my family, and um, just for everybody who uh, is supporting us through this new normal. <clears throat> what a day um, so far. You know, picked up the kids. They both did an amazing job at school, it seems. They're happy. Um, then we went over to Ashley's house and Brad's house, and they cooked everybody dinner. Um, we ate dinner there, and then my kids are staying there while I'm now going to my first grief, grief share meeting. Um, so I'm at this large church that it's at, and um, I don't know where to go, so I'm going to head in. A little bit early so I can hopefully find it um, I am very nervous I feel like it's the first day of school or first day of work or what um, I am extremely nervous but I know that it'll be okay I know that there probably be extremely kind people here and a lot of people going through the same thing may not be a large group maybe it'll be a large group I'm not sure um, but just trying to breathe through today. Today has been a lot of firsts, a lot of big emotions, a lot of feelings, so much kindness. I hope that um, this group kind of concludes uh, and kind of caps off a really hard, somber, but great day, hopeful day. So I'm gonna go in. I got my coffee and um, I will um, check back in. Uh, after this group is done, we'll see how it goes. Mm. 
I'm in the dark. Um, the more I navigate through grief, I realize that we as a society struggle with grief. Everyone does. We struggle to help each other with it. We struggle to know what to say or what to do. But, um, there's something about being in a group of people who have been through similar situations. Tonight was hard. But uh, hearing other people's testimonies in their life and what they're going through, some fresh, some not so fresh, some spouses, some yeah, siblings, best friends, sons, daughters. Um, this is a hard thing to go through for anybody. But I appreciate the support. I will be back next week. That was... The first of 12 classes, 12 weeks. And I'm excited about what this will eventually teach me. And one person in the group, I already feel a very close connection with. They went through something very similar and it's very fresh. So I'm thankful to have met them and I'm thankful for this group and I'm just grateful for today. I'm grateful for today. Today was really, really hard. But we got through it. I'm gonna go get my kids. As Jenny would say, let's go get our babies. Let's go home. Grief really sucks. <sighs> Grief sucks. But I'm going to keep talking about it like my wife wanted. I know it'll help others. I know it'll help myself. <laughs> one thing they preached in there is one second at a time. Not one minute. Not one day. One second at a time. Let's go get the babies. All right, so kids are at home, safe and sound. <clears throat> uh, put them down to bed. We got home very late. Um, the grief group went pretty long. And then I talked to Ash and Brad a little bit about it and then um, got the kids and came home. So it's a little late. I don't know about the consistency of this. It seems hard, but we're going to make it work. Um, Ash and Brad even offered to have the kids spend the night on these nights. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But, um, you know, my feeling of today is accomplishment for my kids and for myself. Fear that this is our new normal and now we just have to keep going. It's scary. Um, proud that we all did everything we had to do today. Um, I want to say like when I picked up my son from childcare, which he's afraid of, and saw him playing with an older boy and a girl that looked like his age and biggest smile on his face, it really made me feel like a million bucks. He's doing okay. My daughter did great. Um, learned a lot from the group tonight. I'm so thankful. I had many friends and family reach out to me today and just send a quick little note letting me know that they're thinking of me and the kids today as we navigate this new normal. Um, and I can't tell you how comforting it was. 
<clears throat> truly, truly comforting. I'm so thankful um, for everybody. I am truly, truly grateful. Um, I got a workbook that I'm going to work on tonight a little bit from the Grief Share group. It's, they said it's not called homework, but it's part of the journey. And we're going to go over it next week. I um, really feel like I took a lot away from it. Um, but we'll see. One day at a time, or like they said tonight, one second at a time. But overall, the feeling today is just accomplish, accomplishment. And so proud of my kids. So, we will navigate this week. We will navigate these days and take it one second at a time. Love you all. Talk to you soon.